So I was going to do a video on these boards inside your washing machine. This one's pretty simple. So it's just a matter of going through the components and testing them. So you've got some relays, little thermistor, uh, little transistor or diode or something like transistor here. Got some capacitors. These are all capacitors or thermistors or something. We'll test them with a the multimeter and find out. We've got resistors, diodes. These relays are one of the main for common failures and these capacitors. So obviously every time they start to wear out and don't make contact properly. I think these are 250 volt ones though, sometimes if they're 12 volt you can actually power them up, hear them clicking and test to make sure they're making contact but they can't. On these you just test between the three pins. These are basically continuity or capacitance or whatever they are. Diodes on diode mode. Zener diodes here, which is the same method of testing normal diodes. And then resistances. So pretty simple tests on these, and if you if these are faulty, you'll you can spot the coils gone, and they're quite easy to replace. On the other side, a bit more complicated. Obviously the switches. You test these with shorts, but these it does have a coating on, so it's hard to test. So usually when you having to go on this side of the board, you're better off replacing, or I am better off replacing if you're a you know a bit more about electronics you've probably got more of a chance you check between shorts between each of the chips there's another little chip for something usually if you look on the other side of the board it gives you a clue to what the, the control in but it's hard to test because they've got this clear coat on them so i don't think we're doing a lot of tests on that side of the board but on this side of the board we can test pretty much everything so we'll get started. As we begin with, I'll just start on the resistances. So it actually tells you next to them what the size they are. R1, O2. Well, I might not tell you the size, but just really checking for short circuits mainly. I mean, if they're, if they're getting that, that reading, you know that one's a 10k and it's pretty close. So. Let's go through and test all resistances. Right, I'm going to swap to diode mode now. So when you see a diode, just test one way, and then test the other way. And you should get a reading one way and not the other. Same with these Xena diodes. I know they're all alright. So there's more down here. So pretty happy with all the diodes. So I'll do the same on these like transistor looking things. I'll just test to one leg with the diode mode. So just get one leg and then test between the other two. Now flip your leads over.
See, that one don't test really very good to me, but best thing to do now is get your magnifying glass, find out uh, what mate what what it is, search it online, and learn how to test it properly. I'll do this one. So both of them I'll be taking out the board and testing and looking what they are and having a look to see how to test them properly out of the board. So we're going to capacitors now. I mean, it's going to be hard to test these from this side of the board, but going on to capacitance. So we've got one there. So it's got 1200 microfarads. And it's 470 microfarads. So it's probably picking up other capacitors around here or other components are affecting it. So. Obviously he suspected that, which I don't, because it looks pretty good. I know this works anyway, so I'll be taking that out and giving it a test. You want to do that with all of your capacitors. There's another one there. Let's draw that one. Lost it straight away. This is nine microfarads. And it's a ten, so pretty much spot on. So let's have a look at these relays next. The only thing you can do in the board is test the coil. So obviously that's the load side of it. Let's test the control side of it. I think they're there. Got to go on to home though. So obviously I'm reading the coil there, 380 ohms. So I know that. At least the coil side of the relay is fine. But anyway, that's about all I can do. Obviously have an inspection, look if anything's blew up. Any components you expect, take them out and do some research online and see how to test them.